So let's set up the coordinates for the head depending on the directions. So I'm going to delete this refresh because we only want to do one refresh at the end after everything is set up and ready to be drawn. So we are going to change direction of the head. And we have the enumeration in our direction so we can use a switch statement on our direction. And again, we'll simply check if the case is going up, down, left or right. So the first let's check if the directions is up. And if that's the case, we are changing the Y coordinates only. Remember, we are moving up. So let me just show you. If we are moving up, we are moving on the same X axis. And all that is changing is Y axis. And you can see the Y axis is decreased. So with each tick, our y coordinates decrease by 1 when we are going up and the x coordinates stay the same so we don't have to do anything with those. So if we are going up our snake xy coordinates and we are talking about the head so it's the index 0 and we are changing the y coordinates only so our y coordinates will now equal the snake xy coordinates with the index of 0 that's where the head is and we are talking about y coordinates only and we are moving up, so minus 1. We move one field up. So that's for the moving up. Now let's go down. So case directions down. So let's have a look at that. Imagine we are going down. So again, we stay on the same x axis, but this time the y coordinates increases. We go from 0 all the way to the end, which in this case would be 10. So I'm going to copy this because it's going to be very similar. Again, we are just talking about Y coordinates, but this time we are increasing them. So plus one. So the next directions is going to be left. So if case directions is left. So let's have a look. If we are moving, let's say this direction to the left, then we are moving along the Y axis. The y axis don't change, but our x axis would. And the x axis, if we go into the left, would be decreasing, starting from 10 all the way down to 1. So the coordinates would be snake xy for the head, so 0 index of the x coordinates equals the snake xy coordinates of the head for the x coordinates minus 1. So we are decreasing it by 1, moving to the left. And of course, you already know that the last direction, so the case directions going to the right, will be very similar, except this time the x axis will increase by 1. So we will do plus 1 there. So this is the directions. We could now draw the head, but we don't really want to do that until after we check if we maybe hit the wall or the snake body. So let's do the checks next.